These encounters I have are absolutely incredible. They come to me voluntarily. I don't need to seek them out. So sometimes I can't quite grasp how close I get to all of them. It's on their terms. It's not me trying to tame them. And I don't call them tame, but they trust me as a human. I believe it's related to how I behave towards them. What I just experienced was the ermine, which is usually very shy. It's difficult to get close to them. Sometimes it would wait for me behind the window, expecting me to come out. It wasn't afraid of me, which is quite rare. This year I've made contact with a larger woodpecker that has come with its whole family. Woodpeckers are typically very shy, so for a woodpecker to fly from the forest, approach me to eat and then fly away. They come because they know that I have a luxury restaurant for them. <laughs> I've been hand feeding and it's quite special to feel a squirrel's paw. It's so warm and nice and it puts its paw on your hand. It's very cozy and it's the same with birds. You might wonder, do you feel their claws when they land on your hand? And they also have warm claws. It's really special that you stand and hold out your hand and they come flying from the forest just to come to me. Now I'm so used to this with animals and nature and getting close to them and cuddling with them on the patio, but if other people come or someone walks by with dogs, then they run away. I think they can tell the difference. I believe they do. I still think you can say that an animal or a bird has a personality. You don't have to only talk about personality when it comes to humans, but also for animals, you might think all squirrels look the same, but Juniper squirrel is an oak squirrel, but it isn't. They differ in personality, just that they are different in temperament. Some are calm, some are very wild. They can run around wildly and then they come out and you can feel that aura all around. That this squirrel will come forward and this one will not. All have been special, but there is one and that was Betten. I think it's so cozy when I get to call them by name and so I talk to them and then I mention the name and they can look up and then they can look at me and Betten and it was a female that had cubs and she was special. She waited for me when I came home from work and there were some things like this that are hard to reproduce but she was almost like a pet even though she didn't live here but she came from the forest to of course eat but also to hang out. <laughs> My husband has said that you don't understand what you are going through, so it is an experience that I will never forget, and this is what I will carry with me as long as I have the energy to continue, for it gives me so much to my heart and soul.